Measuring the volume of a regular solid. To measure the volume of a regular solid, such as a rectangular prism, pyramid, sphere, triangular prism, cone, or cylinder, you will need to know which dimensions are required. Then, you will use a ruler to measure those dimensions. In this example, the shape is a rectangular prism with length of 4.3 centimeters, width of 2.6 centimeters, and height of 2.6 centimeters. To determine the volume of this shape, we will use the formula for the volume of a rectangular prism and input our measurements. The volume is 29.1 centimeters cubed. Measuring the volume of a liquid. To measure the volume of a liquid, you will need a graduated cylinder. Select a graduated cylinder of appropriate size. Place the graduated cylinder on a flat, level surface. Pour the liquid into the graduated cylinder. Examine the liquid at eye level. Read the numbered mark at the lowest point of the meniscus. In this example, the lowest point of the meniscus is at 33 milliliters. Measuring the volume of an irregular solid. To measure the volume of an irregular object, you will need a graduated cylinder. The graduated cylinder will need to be able to contain your object and enough water to cover the object and still be within the markings on the graduated cylinder. Select a graduated cylinder of appropriate size. Place the graduated cylinder on a flat level surface. Pour water into the graduated cylinder. Make sure there will be enough water to cover your object but not to overfill the graduated cylinder when the object is added. Examine the water at eye level. Read the numbered mark at the lowest point of the meniscus. In this example, the lowest point of the meniscus is at 24.5 milliliters. This is the initial volume. Add your irregularly shaped solid to the graduated cylinder. In this example, it is a rock. Examine the water again at eye level. Read the numbered mark at the lowest point of the meniscus. In this example, the lowest point of the meniscus is at 29.5 milliliters. This is the final volume. Subtract the initial volume from the final volume. This provides the volume of the irregular object. In this case, it is 5 milliliters or 5 cubic centimeters.